Okay. Hello guys, Blissit Crazy or Precap and whatever you want to call me. And today I'm gonna to be showing you the best possible way to make power in Feed the Beast. Because I know it's hard and this is the easiest way to make unlimited power. So let's get on into it. And you can make MJ's EU's bread power, whatever electricity you want to. And all you'll need first to start out with is a tier five with your skeleton. Which might be difficult if you play legit to get, like without the soul shard glitch. And I wanted to tell you what the soul shard glitch or how to do it in this video, because you need to go back and watch my old video to see how you want to do it really fast. The mm -hmm. anvil glitch. And so first of all, you have your soul shard. You have to build a I would build a ten by ten to make it the most efficient. So one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten. Well, the 10 by 10 square, which houses the spawner. What was that? 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. I'm not good at counting and talking at the same time, but. So, this is what you do to start out with. And then you build this up about, let's say, 1, 2, 40 blocks to be safe. Because if you build it too short, they won't die, and if you build it too high, it's not a big deal, since they'll die anyways. And you want to make it so they die instantly, not a one-hit kill, so as high as you want would work. And I'll be right back after I finish building the structure. Okay guys, so um, I kind of built this, uh, I only built 35 high, not 40, because I decided 40 would be too much, and it's just a layer of glass. This doesn't look too much of a pleasing structure by any means, but you can build out of whatever material you want, as long as it functions. And mine is on the inside 9 by 9 so the outside walls are 10 by 10 but if you made them 11 by 11 and made the inside 10 by 10 that does not matter. So now you have to find the center, and that is not the center, is it? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. Four, five. So our center is a big square. So that doesn't really matter, but we can just get a soul cage it from here and need these red alloy checks with wire. And you put it two on there, and then you put two under, and then you hang one of these bad boys. And then you get some panels, any type, whatever you prefer. But I think, no, no, not panels. My bad. Covers. And this is just to prevent the mobs from spawning. I'll just take some diamond, it doesn't really matter. On top of this uh, cage, because that'll affect the spawn rates. So just wrap this around with whatever material you like, so they can't spawn on it. And there you go, and then you just put the soul shard in, but not yet. You'll probably want to uh, use a lever and power it off, just for demonstration purposes. You can take this red alloy wiring. I don't need that piece actually. Oh, glass does not work. So I guess just put it on the side and then you curve it up. And then you can bring this all the way down if you want your power switch on and off down there, but it doesn't really matter for this tutorial. So you just lay a lever right about here. You turn it on so they won't spawn, because if it's on, they won't spawn. If it's not, they will. And I have this wither skeleton that should be wither. I don't know why it isn't. But, oh well. So if we turn it on for a second, there we go, we got wither spawning. And they instantly die. So the next step is to build yourself a little room to work with down here. Let's get rid of this stuff. And then you'll need some red power items, unless you don't want to go the red power route, you can always use uh, 
obsidian pipes to collect uh, drops, but I go, I like red power better, so I'll use transposers, and I just make a, let's see, I'll do it right about there and dig down a little more. And that's some loud clicking. Okay, so now what you want to do is just make a little thing that's three spaces like that, and then place transposer. And you do that all the way around, so you make one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, and you put one of these. And on this corner one, you can just go one, two, three, one, one, just place one. And this will collect the drops and what's on. Let's make it daytime so you guys can see. Put one there. So we have two. Just go like that. And this can be whatever material you want. It does not have to be a salt brick, but it does kind of look ugly with basalt, to be honest. You just put one all the way down along, along the back, and if you built it bigger or smaller, based on that, you can put these transposers. Once you got them in place, make sure they're facing upward and it's very dark in here. Let's get some glowstone. Spam it. And now you will need some redstone tubing. Make sure it's redstone, not just pneumatic or whatever, however you pronounce that. Pneumatic tubing. And that's how you do it. And you just wire this up and connect it all to a central point like this. And now you'll need this wool jacketed wire again. And no problem again. And there you go. And then you'll put a timer here. So this pumps anything out of the transposers at whatever time you set it at. And now you can just put barrels down here based on what you want. So you'll probably have excess of bones, most likely. So you put, oh, I hate this inventory thing. So I'll just collect the bones here and for the unlimited power source, now let's get onto it. You put a tesseract here. So this will be, let's just say, 77 and call it tutorial. Set, say frequency, and this will be you know, public access, whatever you want it to be. And you say send only, and then you click set frequency so all the coal will end up going into this tesseract so here's the good part fun part what actual okay so you put the next tesseract here and then you click on that and then you make it receive only set frequency and then you get a buffer like a diamond chest or whatever diamond works the best we get access of coal Put diamond chest, and then you make your steam boiler. Just basic three by three, and then you put it's a solid field firebox, and you put the high pressure boiler block. Make it one, two, three, one, two, three, and this goes up four high for the maximum. You could make it that small, but we're going max height. To make the maximum amount of steam. 
So once you have this, you'll need water. So the best way I go about getting water is the aqueous accumulator, which makes water if there's a water source next to it. So let's get this going. I don't want to um, put water around it. And maybe I should block that up. Just use barrels. Just put water around it. And then the best pipe is obviously the liquidux. And you just connect this straight to the box. So there you go. Now this is getting water. And it should be getting coal from this when I turn it on and it'll create steam. Now, let me show you how this works. And once you have steam, the best way of turning this into MJ and EU is to uh, get a steam consumer. You can look these crafting recipes up yourself since I'm not showing them right now. And then you get an energy bridge I think that's what it's called. What is it? There it is. Energy bridge. And then you get a... If you want MJ, you get an MJ producer. I think it's called... No, it's called Build BC Producer. And if you want EU, EU or the Industrial Craft Energy, you just get EU Producer. I think that's what it's called. Or is it IC2 Producer? I see. Well, I'll just show you all of them you can get. So whichever energy you want, like build craft, you want industrial craft, just low voltage, medium voltage, high voltage, and whatever voltage you want. And then it may, you can make more steam or you can make factorization power. And so let's just go with the medium voltage here. And once this is up, see, you see how it's getting uh, straight coal? This will go non-stop until this will heat, heat up enough to make steam and it won't stop because it will keep supplying it with coal through this mob bar. And once you have enough st or steam being produced, just link up some of these liquid ducts. I prefer about 9 to, what's it called, 3, 9, 6, 15, and then you just hook this up to a build, I mean, what's it called, a steam consumer, where'd it go? Put that up to a steam consumer, and you can have multiple steam consumers, and then you put a energy bridge, and then this makes build craft power, and this will make IC2 power, and you can see that with a MFE, and a redstone energy cell store the power or you can use it on your machines or whatever like a you can get the EV producer to make as much power as you want for your uh, UU matter or whatever you would want to use it for and this should not be stopping so let's just to get it going or a kickstart you can put this and collect coal but if you don't want to do that you can always decrease the size of this by one which will help a lot and there Let's put some coal in it so now I won't need as much coal to start up so I'll be back after this is up and running okay now okay I'm back and now we're about to be approaching the 101 Celsius degrees Celsius mark and the steam will probably pro be start producing. So I just wanted to show this to you guys and how this unlimited EU MJ power source works. It is the best. I haven't seen anything better than this on YouTube. So this by far is the easiest and fastest way to make EU. So as you can see, it hit the 101 degrees Celsius, and now the steam is being produced. And once it hits the halfway mark, it'll start pumping it out into the build craft 
and industrial craft generators and we have a stockpile of coal in here that has been piling up as this is burning and to make it even more efficient to have one of these four by four ones running you can four by three by three running you can add another wither skeleton spawner up there and now you can see the steam is being pumped out of all these liquiducts into this which is steam is in 116 millibuckets uh, per tick and outputting 32 mj a tick and this is steadily increasing and this is inputting 160 a tick and outputting 128 and making unlimited eu and this will be non-stop so whatever the power comes you get the power that you get will be unlimited and it won't stop coming until you stop this spawner so that's about it for this tutorial guys i hope you enjoyed please like favorite and subscribe and peace mm -hmm.